Hey guys, it's Ice here. Doing a review today on the Gerber Remix Tactical. It's around $37 from uh, Gerber online. But uh, if you were to get it from places like sporting goods stores, you can get this for around $30. This is very poorly advertised. This is not a tactical knife. I'll get into that. I'll go through the stats first. This is a uh, three inch blade. It's the uh, remix design, so it has this finger hole right here. A closed length at 4.86 inches. Overall length at 7.86 inches. The steel type, finally, Gerber has revealed the steel type, is 7CR17MO, which is not a terrible steel. It's not great either. The weight is 4.6 ounces. Uh, it has G10 handles. Um, steel liners. Instead of a thumb stud, it has this thumb panel right here. It is a Tonto design, partially serrated, and it has a tip-up pocket clip with a uh, lanyard hole if you so desire. It is a liner lock and a pretty thin liner at that. Now I'm going to go into why this is not a tactical knife. First of all, tactical knives need to be fast, and this has a very stiff hinge. It's such a a wide rotation really hinders getting it out fast. They don't use a thumb stud, instead they use this thumb panel which makes it even harder to get out. So that's one thing they did wrong with this. Another is that they have a liner lock. Liner locks are similar to frame locks but they are weaker. Liners are usually much thinner. Also it takes the liner out of its position hindering the structural stability of the knife so it's more likely to fail than a frame lock or something sturdier. Also, another thing they did wrong, and why this really is not a tactical knife, is this finger hole. This Remix series originally became popular among rock climbers because with this finger hole, imagine when you're on a rock face. You know, when you can't put your knife down anywhere, it was very useful to have this finger hole so you could just do stuff with your other fingers without putting your knife down while on the mountain. But it's really not good for anything else, like especially knife uh, fighting. If you're in a combat situation, you would not want your finger in there because that can very easily be turned against you. If they disarm you, they're not only getting the knife, they're getting your hand. If they were to get the knife in any other position, they can easily break your finger. It's not practical at all. It's not going to keep the knife in your hand any more than a firm grip would. So it's not safe. It's much easier to be used against you than it is to help you. So uh, that really was not smart. Really the only thing that is tactical about this blade is the fact that it has uh, G10 handles and a Tonto. The American style Tonto was developed strictly for tactical purposes. It does it very well, however this is a very drastic angle on that Tonto. It's almost like on the level of a chisel. It's just you know, it's just so exaggerated. And it has just this very small swedge. A good tactical knife should have a bit bigger of a swedge. It does have a fairly centered point. Um, the uh, serrations are positive serrations in a 2-3 serration arrangement. They're not bad, but uh, just the fact that it's such a short blade, just 3 inches, and they have serrations and a tanto. So essentially you have three different blades on this one knife. I think it, you, you'd need a much larger blade to have this drastic of a tanto and serrations to be effective. It is a slight hollow grind. It is not a flat grind. So that does slightly help with it being tactical, but it's just, it's barely hollow. So it really doesn't help very much. The coating is pretty weak. I'm not sure what coating they use in this. Likely a powder coat, maybe a titanium nitride. I, doubt it though. But it is pretty weak, rubs off. Also, everything is so thin, so it has a thin blade, thin liners, thin G10 handles, thin pocket clip, and it's so lightweight, you're not going to be feeling chafing or the weight as much. Now the pocket clip is a tip up, so that's popular among tactical and EDC knives. I prefer tip down, but I think the entire reason they made this knife was just to get in on the whole tactical obsession among customer base of knives. You know, getting in on G10 handles and Tontos and, you know, just features that people like a lot, tip-up carry. And they're just trying to get in on that 
without really putting their design into a really good knife. This will be good for like EDC. I would not recommend it at all for tactical. It was designed improperly for that use. If you're going to be looking for something for serious tactical use, don't go with Gerber. Go with something by Benchmade, um, maybe even Spyderco if you really want to go that direction. Just not Gerber for tactical. But if you're looking for a cheap EDC blade, and if you really love G10 handles, this would be a good direction for you. So this is the Gerber Remix Tactical for about 30 bucks at REI, Dick's Sporting Goods, etc. This has been Ice. Thanks for listening, guys.